this video, we will look at how we can share the apps that we build in Dataverse for Teams with users. To begin creating apps in Dataverse for Teams, we need the Power Apps app installed as part of Microsoft Teams, and you can get that from the App Store. Once you open the Power Apps app, if I head over to the Build tab, this will list out all the teams for which there is a Dataverse for Teams environment created. Now for a team called Power Platform, I built an app called Power Platform Trainings. And as part of this app, I created a table called Trainings. Now, if you look at this table called Training, it's a very simple table. It has the default column. I renamed it to Title. I added a choice column for Training so the users can select from any of the training options and then provide a date. Now, once you create your tables and you build your app, the next step is to publish your app to Microsoft Teams. And the way we can do that is just by clicking on Publish to Teams. This will go and save the Power App and publish the app and then give you the option to add this app to any of the channels that you have as part of your team. I just have one channel and I already have this app as a tab. Now notice right here that there is no option for me to go ahead and share this app. The reason is because the sharing features of an app that you create in Dataverse for Teams follows the security model of your Microsoft team. A team can have users and these users are categorized as either team owners, members or guests. In this case, Megan is the owner of the team. Alex is a member of the team and Reza is a guest user in this team. Now, since there are no sharing options, once you create your app and Dataverse for Teams, the security follows the security protocol of your Microsoft Teams, which are owners, members, and guests. Now, currently I'm logged in as Megan. Megan is the owner of this team. So if Megan goes to this app, Megan has access to this app. And so does Alex, who is a member of this team, as well as Reza, who is a guest user and who has been granted access to this team. But the security for all these three users differs. If you look at Megan logging in, Megan has full access to all the tables that are created as part of this app. Now, as part of this app, I created a table in Dataverse for Teams called Trainings. And owners have full access. That means owners can create new records, they can read all records, they can update or delete all records. So currently Megan has created two records. Of course, Megan has the option of editing this and making changes to any of the records because Megan is an owner of this team. A member as well by default has full access to all the tables that are created as part of that app. So for example, Alex can come in and actually delete Megan's record or create his own record. Now, when Reza logs in as a guest user, notice Reza does not see any records. And the reason is because guest users have private access to the tables. That means they can create new records. However, they can read only their own records and they can update or delete only their own records. So Reza went ahead and created a new record as a guest user. Notice Reza only and only sees his own records. Whereas if Megan or Alex logs in, so here's Megan. And if I just refresh this app, Megan can see the guest users records as well. So that's how security works by default. When you create an app using Dataverse for teams. However, what if you want to add more sophisticated security to the tables that you've created as part of Dataverse for teams to make changes to this default security behavior, of owners, members, and guests on the tables that you create in Dataverse. As an owner of the team, Megan has additional privileges where Megan can go and make modifications to the security related to the tables for that team. So Megan goes to the Power App app in Microsoft Teams, goes to the Build tab. Here's the team called Power Platform. If I go to See All, this will list out all the artifacts as part of this team. And if Megan heads over to tables, right here is that training table. Now, if I select my table, there's a new option now available called manage permissions. Now, if I select this, 
This will actually showcase the default permissions that are set as part of any table that you create in Dataverse for Teams. Notice owners have full access that cannot be modified today. Members by default have full access. They can create, read, update and delete all records. However, now I have additional options right here. I can make members as collaborators. That means they can create new records, read all records, but they can only update or delete their own records. Or I can just provide them referential access. That means they can only read records. They cannot create, update or delete records. I can give them private access, which is the default behavior for guest users. That is, they can create new records, but they can only read, update or delete their own records. Or I can completely revoke their access by selecting none. Now, in this case, for the members, currently I have the full access set. I will go ahead and change this to private access. That means members can create records, but they can only view, update and delete their own records. Once I make my selection, I will click on save. Now, when Alex as a member logs into the app, notice Alex can only see his own record. That is because I have changed the security on the table as an owner. If Megan accesses the app and Megan is an owner, Megan can see all the records in my table. Now back to the table permissions for the guest users. It's private by default. Let's say I would like to change this wherein guest users can only see all the records, but they cannot create, update or delete records. In that case, I will just change their access to reference and click save. Notice that as the guest user now, I see all the records. However, I cannot edit, delete or create new records. So if I try and delete this record right now, notice it's not going to delete the record purely because Reza as a guest user does not have access to delete records because we have granted guest users only the reference access. So with the help of these new table permissions now, you can define your level of access for members and guests of your Microsoft team. But what if you would like to share the app and the table access to users who are not members, owners or guests of your Microsoft team? That is other users in your organization. To achieve that, there is a new access available now called colleagues with access. Now, by default, if you note that colleagues with access is set to none, that means they have no access on this table. However, let's say I would like to grant access to this table to colleagues, that is users who are not a part of this team. And for this example, I will pick the collaborate access. That means they can create records. They can read all records, but they can update or delete just their own records. And I will click on save. Now, even though I've shared the table, if I sign in as a user who is not a member of the team, so in this case, I have a user called Alan, who is not a member of this team. So Alan does not see the Power Platform team. Even though I have granted colleagues access to the table, how are they going to access the app? In order to achieve that, as an owner of your team, once again on the build tab, for my Power Platform team, now I have a new option called Share with Colleagues. When I select Share with Colleagues, I can share the apps with users who are not a part of my team. And right here, I can only plug in security groups. So if you have a security group defined in Azure AD, and if you would like to grant access to that security group, you can do that right here. Now by default, it's putting the current team right here. But let's say I change this and I select a security group called Power Apps. And now I'm going to click Save. Now this security group has that user Alan, who is not a part of my Microsoft team. Now, if I sign back in as Alan, Alan is not going to see that team right here. But how can Alan access that app? For that, Alan has to go to apps. And under apps, there's an option called build for the name of your tenant. My tenant in this case is called Contoso. So it says built for Contoso. And when Alan as a colleague who is not a part of that team comes to this tab, that app will be listed right here. It takes a few minutes before that app shows up right here. But here are examples of other apps that I had created and shared. So Alan can see it right here. 
Alan can select that app and add that app as a tab to team so they can use it as a personal app. So that's how the shared with colleagues feature works, wherein you can share your app with users outside of your Microsoft team. Some important things to note, when you are plugging in a security group here, you can only and only add one security group as of today. And that security group cannot have more than thousand members. That means at max, you can share your Dataverse for Teams app with a thousand users who are not a part of your Microsoft team. Of course, owners, members, and guests by default get access to your app and you can control the security of the tables within that app further by heading over to the tables tab and managing your permissions right here. If you like this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.